Discuss your flow once you get back from a shoot, calling, editing, sending to the clients. All right, so I come right back to the office directly after a photo shoot and the photos are all edited immediately. So it happens within the same day. I realized this system is really effective for keeping the business flowing because as soon as you wait a day or two days and there's a backlog that builds up, the enthusiasm level goes down. Like you lose interest in your photos, your clients have already started to forget about the photo shoot. So the quicker the turnaround, the more the excitement is still in the air. So I um, intentionally schedule all of my shoots on the calendar and then schedule a block of time directly after the shoot for the post-processing. So it comes as a pair. So if a photo shoot is one hour, it's actually two or three on my calendar. Um, we get back, I plug in the, the CF card. I shoot on CF cards, it doesn't matter. You put your memory card into the computer. I use Photo Mechanic to look at all the images and I put a star, like a green label or whatever color you choose, um, on, and I go through really quickly. So it's just, these are the ones that jump out at me. If I took 500 photos, I'll probably narrow it down to about 250 or 300. Those are all then saved to a folder called Masters or Raw. And the other ones are just deleted because they were blurry, people were blinking, whatever. Um, but I don't delete the cards until, I don't delete the images until the final photos have been delivered to the client. So I import them. Then the folder full of masters images gets opened in Lightroom. Then I go through again and I cull a second time. And this time I put five stars. I start by putting five stars on all the photos. And then as I go through, I eliminate. So the first call is choosing photos. The second call is eliminating photos. I find that that's easier because at first you just want to pick all your favorites. It's really hard to get rid of any. The second time around, it's more important that now you're being critical. So I open up on my screen, I click the N button. N is a short key, a hot key, shortcut, whatever, on the computer when you're working in Lightroom. You click, highlight multiple images and click N. It opens it up on your screen. And then I look through and I, I get rid of, I put a four star so it, it leaves the, the batch of five stars. But by making it four stars, I can go see which photos were eliminated, which ones were the uh, runners up. Um, I'm trying to get that number down now to about a hundred, a hundred or less photos. Then I go through those and I apply a preset. It's taken me years to find a preset that I like, and it's a preset you're always going to evolve. But when you first start, don't be surprised if you like try a lot, a lot of presets and you're frustrated because all of your photos end up looking different. Um, and you're trying to find your style and that's frustrating and it's kind of just part of the evolution. But eventually you, you nail it and so you have one or two presets that you like to use. My cat wants to Come on. So then all um, the preset gets applied to all the photos. The preset gets applied to all the photos and then I it gets synced. So the preset is applied to all 100 photos at the same time. It saves a lot of time rather than opening each photo and applying a preset on its own. So there's a batch edit. And then if it's a really good photo shoot, like if I did a really good job in the camera, I can open up the photos in batch form again with the letter N. And now that they have a preset on them, you can look at them and say, yeah, these look good. Or you look at them and you're like, wow, this one, this one photo is a little, little bit darker than the rest. So then you just open up that one photo and do specific little tweaks on that one, increasing the exposure or whatever you need to do. Um, unfortunately, sometimes there's photo shoots where the lighting is just constantly changing and the batch editing just doesn't really work. And so instead you have to do a lot more editing per photo. So, <laughs> Uh, then you find yourself sliding the bars a lot. That's not ideal. We're aiming to have the whole process be as quick as possible. Um, I know at the beginning it might be really exciting to spend time editing and you want to be in there working on it, but as you do more and more shoots, as you have other things you want to do in life, as you have clients who are waiting on you, you're eventually going to 
make this as quick and painless as possible. So you get it right in the camera. Okay, once we're done editing in Lightroom, um, I'll go through one last time for a final call. And this time I use a red flag. So it's in Lightroom, it would be the, the number six. It's a red flag. And I, I open up the edited photos because once you've edited a photo, now you can really decide if you want it or not. Because sometimes editing it makes it come to life. And sometimes you're like, yeah, these two photos, now that they're edited, this one is definitely better. So I go through them again. I open them up in batches of like 10, five to 10 photos. And I only click the, the red, the number six, I put a red flag on the ones that jump out at me. And I'm like, I am proud of this photo. I'm excited to share this photo with the client. This is a photo that if I didn't have it, I would like, if we deleted it, I'd be sad. And you notice with that as your criteria that it, you can let go of the other photos. So you're like, no, I'm not actually that proud of them. Why would I bother delivering these? And that's when I can take 100 photos down to about 50 or 60, which is really great because honestly, people don't want hundreds of photos. You know, you think you're giving them a gift by giving them so many photos, you're actually giving them a chore. Um, way better to deliver just like one photo that's just freaking incredible. And then they put it on their wall and they're happy forever. That's way better. <laughs> so um, by just choosing the photos you're really, really proud of, it means they're getting the highest quality, they're getting an easier experience, and the work you're putting out there is really representing your best quality work. And you'll also start to notice where you have gaps. You're like, oh, I didn't, when I choose the best of the best, I'm really missing close-up portraits, or I'm, I don't have any photos of faraway landscapes. Like, you realize what you need to improve on, because you didn't get any of those. Um, they all get exported. I have a naming system. So when you leave, when they leave Lightroom, they get named the Happy Film Company, so the name of your company, Dash, the name of the client, Smith Family, Dash, the date. So I'll say month, because usually clients don't get photographed more than one time in a month but they might get photographed more than once in a year. So we'll say like March, 2020, June, 2020, and then it's sequential. So the file name will be the Happy Film Company dash Smith family dash March, 2020 dash one, two, three, four, five, six, photo number five, right? Um, all of them are uploaded to ShootProof. I deliver my clients photos through the galleries of ShootProof and my assistant who is awesome, you don't have an assistant, you'll do this yourself. You go into Shooper, you create a gallery, and then you just update all the settings. So you say if they get the photos for free, if they download prints, if they uh, if there's an expiration date, if they have special discounts, if there's gonna be emails going out to them, like Shootproof is um, offering you the service of actually running the business and making money off of your photos and delivering them in a really professional, easy way. And you can store them there. So the, the clients, I keep all my photos on Shootproof like forever. So my clients, if they're, they can always come to me. Sometimes their computers crash. Sometimes you lose your photos. I still have them backed up. That's the process. Once their photos are in Shootproof, they get deleted off of the memory cards and the memory cards go back out into the world for more photos on the camera. Makes sense? All right. That is the process from the photo shoot to the delivering to the client. Um, I used to send out the official email from Shootproof that was like, yo, your photos are ready officially by the Happy Film Company. And now I just much prefer a personal approach. So I email my clients right away and I just thank them for the shoot and tell them what was great, what I learned, what was exciting, why oh, my cat. Um, and then give them the link to the gallery. and. Just keep the excitement high by delivering it right away. That's the best advice. Like 24 hours, 48 hours, ideal. 